Okay, on Google Classroom, you'll find a link to McDonald Jones Homes. You can use whatever Project Home website you'd like um, or any image search, but you've got to find a floor plan to manipulate. Here I've found a random house on McDonald Jones Homes and I'm going to screenshot each floor separately. Once I've screenshotted those floor plans, I can then insert those images, those screenshots, into a Google drawing. Click on the image and you'll see image options at the top and you can turn the transparency so you can actually see uh, the picture or the lines that you're about to draw over the top of that floor plan. So the idea here is that you are going to manipulate the original floor plan to suit your own design. So you're gonna use this floor plan for example and I'm adding a room to the right here slightly changing the original design to be your own. This is using the polygon tool. Here I'm just simply taking the fill out of that shape, making it transparent. You can do that by selecting the paint bucket. Now I'm using the line tool to add interior detail. Once I've drawn those lines over the top, I can delete the original floor plan and then download my new floor plan as a JPEG. Go into File and Download as a JPEG. Go back to Google Classroom and open up SketchUp in SketchUp for Schools. It's important that the little drop down box when you open the file, you open it in SketchUp for Schools. <coughs> We're going to import our image, selecting that guy there, from the computer, select the JPEG that you downloaded, it'll be in the downloads folder, there's the floor plan, and select image. There's your floor plan, just double click in the selected area. And remember, you can zoom in and out using two fingers on your trackpad. Now I'm gonna draw a line to scale this drawing. So I've gotta decide the back here, how long I want this line to be. You'll see down in the length box down the bottom. In this instance, I'm gonna make it 12 meters or 12,000 millimeters. And press enter. So that line there is 12 meters. Now I need to be able to select the image and the scale tool and drag that image either in or out so that I can get the back of the house in scale with that line. Okay, that's the move tool now that I can move it across to the line and it's pretty close to being 12 meters. I'm going to adjust it slightly using the scale tool. 
And now my house is a one-to-one -one scale. So when I actually draw in dimensions now and import things from the 3D warehouse, and doors and windows, etc., furniture, it will be to the right scale or close to. Now I'm going to draw a back wall by drawing a rectangle. In this instance, it's going to be 4,300 millimetres by 90 millimetres wide. So I'd type that in by going 4,300, 90. Now I'm going to select push pull and push pull that wall up 2,400, which is 2.4 metres, which is a standard wall height. I'm going to zoom in and draw another wall. So I can click to that endpoint, draw a rectangle out, all the way along that side. In this instance, it's 14,500 millimetres, comma 90, and then push pull that wall 2,400 high. I would then continue that process. On the other walls. Do it on internal walls here. This time I'm doing it up the wall. So it would be 90 millimetres wide still, comma, 2400. And I can then push pull all interior walls off that existing exterior wall structure. And you can simply push pull until you get to the end of your design line. You can use the erase tool to erase any lines that I don't require anymore. Now we're going to draw in a window. Select the rectangle. Draw a rectangle on the outside face. Select push pull. Orbit around so you can see. Select push pull. On that window you want to take out and then drag up to the edge. So that adjacent edge there to the back side of the window and then click and that will ensure that it goes hollow, that window and is ready for a window to be imported from the 3D warehouse. So click that symbol there, the third one down, we can search window. Select the window we like. And then choose that one. And I'll use the move tool. It will snap to that anyway. Snap it to one corner, one corner of the window. Then I can select orbit to orbit around. We'll select that move tool again, but select the scale tool from that menu. And then simply use those little cursors there to push and pull or scale that window to the size of the opening that I made. You'll do this for doors and windows. Press save. And it will automatically save. 